Hi there, this is Smart Penguins and we're here to help you with your game making adventures. In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can get a character that is being controlled by touch move node to collide correctly with static objects. Let's look how our scene is set up. In the scene, we have ground that has physics set to static, a red cube that has physics set to static, a dynamic cube that has physics set to dynamic, a player that has physics set to dynamic, and in our player physics settings, set rotation factor to zero on all axis and position factor to zero on y axis. And then we have a controller that has physics set to kinematic, and inside our controller, we have the touch node connected to start and you can adjust sensitivity and smoothness to your liking. In start node, make sure your affected assets are none, so the controller would not collide with anything in your scene. The controller and the player are positioned in the same spot in the scene. Select both controller and player, and then go add a link to select it. This will create a link between the controller and the player. So if one object can be moving, the other objects are going to follow. And since our controller is kinematic and the player is dynamic, the player is going to follow the controller. Press play. And now we can see if we click and drag, we can move our player and collide with the dynamic objects. And if we hit the static object, get stuck until we get past it. Then it just jumps to location of our mouse. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, write in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.